What's up everybody, Arty the Pirate here, and today we're gonna play a little Richter in the solo lane. But as always, let's go over the deck first. Now I have Fast Travel, Mana Generator, Healing Towers, Mana Reactor, Damage Return, and Ferocity for my gems. Now for my cards, I have Exoskeleton, The Mother Tree, Flame of Zetchin, Possess Sprykin, Growth Totem, Guard Piercer, Thunder Cleaver, Wound Seeker, Numbing Rogue, Trapper, Unbroken Spirit, and lastly, one of the tribe. I have had an absolute horrible time trying to record some Richter solo gameplay. I have played five matches, and all of them have been very, very short, except for the exception of one that was like a 58 minute match where both teams should have won a thousand times. We just would not work together at all. And, you know, it, this is just one of the examples of the match, but it's against a Revenant. So I thought I would kind of show it off and just kind of the beginning, it, it, this this Revenant ends up feeding and it, I, I've actually never ran into this type of situation before, but uh, you know, I'm just kind of showing this off it, because laning against a Revenant in this solo lane can be kind of difficult. Now, if you've seen, I'm not really going in and you know playing aggressive because Revenant does have some decent poke, but I am heading up there and I'm letting him hit me. And what that's doing is it's making my minions focus Revenant, and so my lane's going to the lanes are naturally going to push my way eventually so you know that that's kind of what my idea was there but i decide you know hey revenants had enough time we're gonna go ahead and you know do some work on him we're able to get him down pretty low but we need to head out and since he's hitting me my minions are focusing him and sure enough we're able to take him out now, the Severog, the enemy Severog was right there, and so I'm going to turn around and leave. We shut that Revenant down, and Severog is now pushing my lane, and, you know, that that's what we want. We want my lane under tower, and this is really going to affect Revenant, and, you know, that that's really going to take him out of farm. Now, I, I just kind of wanted to show that off for a little bit. You know, we, we that, that was a little bit sloppy. You know, we... we should have stayed engaged instead of backing up because we took a lot of extra poke but we took way less poke than that revenant did and you know he continued to stay in on me even though he was very low and my minions were able to you know take him out and you know that that was pretty decent but again this revenant ends up feeding and i guys i've never ran into this uh, and this actually happened on two different matches, except one match, it was my team that was feeding. Uh, two times, I've never ran into this in the whole time I've been playing Paragon and trying to get this solo guide for Richter, I ran into it twice. It, it, it's crazy. So here's just one example of this happening. <laughs> you can see this Revenant, he, he, he comes into tower and he, he just dies. It, you know, I, it's unbelievable, guys. The guy's name is actually Paragon Sucks. Uh, I, I really don't know why you would play the game, my dude. You know, you, you're ruining the experience for five other people. And really, you know, if if this game does get you that upset, you should really think about, you know, trying to play something else. And, you know, it, this it, it, it's upsetting for me, even though you're feeding me. You know, I I gotta say, man, just, just maybe just take a step away from Paragon. All right, now we can get into a actual match, which this one is another short match. But you know, yeah, I, guys, I, I've I've played five games with Richter, like I said, and I cannot get just a decent full length match with him, except for the one that you know lasted 50 minutes, and it, it, it they, there wasn't it wasn't really anything that anybody was doing wrong for one person it was no one was working as a team no one could push lanes and me being the tankier type hero that i am you know i i can't just force things to happen but it is what it is this is a pretty decent match and you know we are facing off against the graystone now I'm again letting him push into the tower. You know, Richter is very strong in the beginning of the game. You know, with, he's got a huge health pool, and being able to pick up a card early on 
like Possess Brycon, where you get that massive amount of regen, and you know, you get some power, you can actually have a huge impact. Now, if you're thinking about playing Richter, I, I highly recommend practicing your pulls, and I, I miss a couple key pulls in this, and it, it feels bad, man, but one thing about Richter is you pretty much lose the engagement if you miss your pull. You know, you, you have to disengage from it if you miss that pull because that that pull is your engagement. That's one of the reasons he is so slow is he doesn't have to be fast. And practice that pull. If you get good with it, you are one of the most deadly heroes because, you know, you pull someone, you silence them, you ult them, you keep them in your little sticky goo circle. You know, you crank out tons and tons of damage and keep that hero stunned and repositioned for a long period of time. And this allows your team to absolutely wreak havoc on the enemy. Now, this is pretty standard laning stuff, guys. You know, we want to keep this lane pushed close. And then once we actually hit 3,000 gold, we're going to head back and put on Possess Spryken. Now, we could have slow farmed that lane a little bit longer, but I really want to get this card online. I have a huge advantage over Greystone at this moment, and you can see he actually heads in. He, he didn't check my cards to see that I, I do have the advantage right now. And, you know, hey, th this is great for me. I, I want him to play aggressive like this, and this, you know, you can see, guys, if I would have landed that hook, he'd have been done. He, he'd have been gone. You know, and I'm I'm still at half health, you know, so I've got a huge advantage over Greystone at this moment. You know, Possess Spryken is still a very powerful card, and I really like it on Richter. Even though, you know, Richter can benefit from having, you know, uh, more of an in-game, especially since you're playing in the solo lane. You know, you have the potential to have a stronger late game, but I'm planning on building pretty tanky. So, you know, my job isn't really for that damage. It's really for that, you know, the, uh, I want to be the big guy that everyone goes and messes with. And, you know, that's exactly what we're doing here. Now, we are playing very, very aggressive now. And, you know, it, we, we really shouldn't be. You know, it, it would be very easy for the enemy team to head over to me and actually take me out. And you see, again... We would be able to take out that Greystone if I would just have a little mana, if we were able to land that hook. But, you know, hey, it's time to back up. You know, we've played aggressive for long enough. Let's go ahead and back and get this lane to, you know, get reset, everything like that. I don't know where the enemy jungler is, so it's best just to back when I do have the opportunity. And I'm going to go ahead and throw on Mother Tree, which will give me just a little bit more sustain. Now, of course, I spawn back in and I head down my lane. You know, we're still very far into or very much into the laning phase. Now, Velika does head over to my lane. Unfortunately, she pushes it, which I would have definitely slow farmed that lane. Now I'm going to have to shove this lane as a tower because the Greystone, you know, he has definitely kind of got the hint of slow farming. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to have to, you know, just hold off on it. We're able to do quite a bit of damage to Greystone. But, you know, he does have his ult, so it's there's not a whole lot we're going to be able to do. Unfortunately, their Richter heads over, and, you know, hey, this, this is going to be painful. You know, I, I I need to just try to get out, but, you know, we're, we're, we're going to end up going down. And, unfortunately, we weren't even able to take Greystone's ult. So, you know, that, that was just me being, you know, overly aggressive. And having just, you saw that, that Velika came over and pushed my lane a little bit. Just that little bit, you know, that that's going to kind of steal me away from my farm and make me play unsafe. So guys, don't push lanes. It's really, you want to keep that lane in a safe position, especially in on that dusk side solo lane. You know, you're on the enemy's jungle side. So it's very, you know, it, it's very unsafe to be pushed up on this side. So... If you go over to try to get a gank and there's not a gank there, don't worry about the lane. You know, let, let the solo laner take care of the lane. Now, we are just going to go ahead and slow farm as much as we can. I shove that lane into tower so it does reset. And sure enough, you know, we get reset right into the middle. And then we're just going to continue to slow farm. Now, Greystone, you can see he's pushing the lane. And that, that's great. That's exactly what we want. We want to sit here in 
you know, our lane and farm as much as possible. We do have the card advantage over Greystone right now, and you can see we're, we're, we're doing work, guys. We missed another pull, which, you know, it's unfortunate. Like I said, guys, really concentrate on getting those pulls down. And, you know, with Greystone rotating, you know, we went ahead and used some abilities, so our lane's going to push, and, you know, that <laughs> another missed pull. You know, I you see me shaking my head. Yeah, <laughs> like this, this, this what? The shooting 25%? Yeah, baby. But <laughs> it is what it is, guys. You know, you can't, you, it, it takes a little bit of practice to get good with those pulls. But like I said, if you can manage to hook those pulls, you'll get kills. You know, you saw earlier, we would have hooked that gray, uh, that gray early on in the match. That'd have been a very easy kill. You know, a couple of those other hooks that we missed, we would have got significant damage on him and forced him out of lane. You know, it, it's absolutely huge getting those hooks, and fortunately, we're just not getting them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and continue my farm. You know, I, I, I'm i not just confident enough to where I can just shove this lane. You know, Greystone has had a pretty good presence. You know, he, he's not really allowing me to just shove my lane, so... That's that's okay. We can set it and rotate and sure enough my Bellica goes down So I'm gonna go head over to mid lane and Cover her lane while my lane is set and you can see it's very close to that tower Now I'm just gonna go ahead and focus Greystone. You know, I they, they have minions under the tower But you know, he can definitely do some work and you see here We're, we're, we're able to actually shut him down take his ultimate away we end up getting a root uh, or getting a silence on him that keeps him under tower a little bit longer and we're me and Kari are able to take him out now Richter you know he headed over to help but hey we're we're gonna we're gonna finish Richter off as well so you know we get a great double kill and you know that, that that's awesome that, that that's exactly what we want we're gonna go ahead and shove down mid lane you know it, it needs one hit and they do have protective sentry on, so you know we're we're just gonna kind of clean up this minion wave, wait for the tower to go or that shield to go down, take out that tower, and then I'm going to head over to my lane to get it set in the right direction. Now taking out that mid lane, you know, at 12 minutes it is pretty substantial. You know that that. That was a very good play on our part, you know, being able to rotate over and help out after Bellica died. You know, that that worked out just absolutely perfect. And, you know, we end up actually saving our tower, but I'm going to take this opportunity to back. You know, the enemy team's about to spawn back in. So, or, you know, Greystone's probably back in the lane already. So, I'm just going to go ahead and back, and I end up throwing Thunder Cleaver on. Now, guys, I, I've said it a thousand times, I really like Thunder Cleaver. You know, it's got some decent wave clear, it's got some decent power, and you get that bonus armor, or that basic armor, and I, I, I really enjoy that basic armor. Now, Arbelica, you know, she, she gets caught out a little bit, and Greystone's able to take her out, but he does take quite a few tower hits from that, and, you know, we might be able to catch up to him. If we can land a hook on him, we'll be able to take him out, but he does dip, so hey, no problem, but he doesn't have his ultimate. So, I'm going to go ahead and shove this lane. You know, if he does try to challenge me, we will definitely take him out. But Wraith heads over, so we need to be a little more careful. We're going to go ahead and, you know, continue to engage on these two heroes. We end up getting our hook, and you see, guys, the power of that hook. That, that hook is just such a good ability, and if you can land it, you can completely flip a fight. <laughs> and, you know, I mean... Proof right there, guys. So we're able to take Greystone out. Unfortunately, Wraith is here. You know, uh, we're, we're not going to be able to shove this lane. Wraith is a hero that, you know, he, he's got quite a bit more poke than me. And if he can stay out of range, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot. My basic armor is helping me. But again, guys, he's got that poke. You know, he's kind of a half ADC, half caster. And we just have to be careful with that. I missed that hook. You know, I... I, I misjudged where he was going to go, so, hey, you know, if, if we would have grabbed that hook, it, it probably would have been GG for him, but it's not that big of a deal. We're going to go ahead and shove this lane, hopefully, with my team all over here. You know, Bellica's here, Kalari's here, e everybody's here. <laughs> we should be able to actually make something happen with Wraith. They, again, use that protective sentry, so, you know, we, we have to be aware of that. Sparrow heads in. 
and you know we've got a huge rotation over here we're able to get our ult off you know we, we get a great stun on them and i'm gonna go ahead get that hook but you know i didn't end up taking it out my kalari and bellica are there to help deal with Wraith, you know, he was concentrating on me since I was almost dead, and he wasn't worried about the threat, you know, he probably should have backed up, we get an awesome triple kill, and then the team ends up surrendering there, so, you know, guys, I <laughs> tried to make a Richter solo game, uh, I definitely have, you know, we've played a few, but <laughs> this is a very solid deck, I, I, I'm really happy with this deck, and I mean, you can kind of see how I play him. Well, I tried, guys. I really did. And I hope y'all did enjoy, even though it was a short video. But if you did, show me some love. Leave me a comment. Think about subscribing. Join our Discord. I'd love to play with y'all. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.